Hello ladies and gents, my name is Putty and welcome back for another episode of Oli. We are here for Mas Aya de la Mascara, uh, shown live on Canal 3 tonight. TV special, big ass matches on the line today. Oh, damn it, fine you, screw you. Damn it, showing up late. Phoenix 2 did well though. Um, we will have a rib again on Phoenix 4. Just like, oh. Actually, yeah, let's, let's do an even bigger one. Hopefully it doesn't just like piss him off hugely. Okay, cool. Alright. So, we are looking for record attendances here in West Central Mexico, at least in the modern era. Uh, hopefully, that comes to pass. We will do the uh, pre-booked stuff first. Something like this, which is probably going to be the co-main event. Uh, probably open the show with it. 20 minutes. La Sombra, Cosmic Rider versus Mr. Lucha 3. And Mr. Lucha 3 is going to win. It's going to be... Um, like it's obviously gonna be pretty difficult for him. He's gonna like have to fight huge. Like it's not gonna be uh it's not gonna be an easy victory by any means. He's gonna have to struggle, he's gonna have to push, he's gonna have to uh use everything in his arsenal. He might even have to get vicious a little bit more than usual. And uh yeah, it's gonna be a really hard match for him, but he pulls it out in the end. He he saves the day, he doesn't have to leave Mexico forever, and he will be told after the match where Manuel Prieto is, hopefully, hopefully he's satisfied with the answer. Nicolas Lopez versus Hijo del Mephisto, 27 minutes we'll say. Uh, Campeonato del Universal Oli, with uh, Hijo del Mephisto going over. Open match called, slow build, tainted win, and the match will finish when Nicolas Lopez is attacked by... Uh, Pesadilla. Yeah. Then we also have Pesadilla versus Azul Celeste. And um, that one can go 12 minutes. Can be a high spots match. And Pesadilla is going to go over. And we're gonna have to keep Azul Celeste quite, quite, quite strong there. Oh, she'll do it. Nice. Okay, it's for the Las Mujeres title. Put that back. Okay, anything we don't have on this card? Yes, I, I was kind of building to this. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, I was kind of building to this. Um, but I didn't ever make it official. We are going to do... Tres Phoenix. Oh, there you go. Tres Phoenix taking on uh, the, the demons. Wait, they should... Be in a stable together. Oh, of course, Hellspawn left, so he's not it's still in the stable because he left the unfortunate man. So there you go. And Tress Phoenix are going to uh, win the Campeonatos de Trios Oli. There you go. Lot of shakeups, big shakes, boys. Shakeups in Oli. God damn. Alright. Uh, that can go on second to last. and Maybe we can have that lift the crowd. And we will also have a couple of other matches. So first of all, obviously, Gregory Gate. <coughs> oh, God. Uh, oh, okay, one second. That's better. Alright. So first of all, we'll have Tirador defending his Campeonatos de Mexico against... Uh... I wonder. I don't think this is going to go... I don't think this is going to fly. But maybe. Will it fly? Is Marcos nice enough to do this? Holy shit, he is. Holy shit. Okay. Theodore Alpha versus Marcos Flores for the, the Mexican title. Holy shit. Wow. All right. Cool. Awesome. Oh, awesome. And we'll do a one-fall match, American style, with Gregory Gage taking on Dragon Americano, as he has done quite a few times now. And we'll go ten minutes, or probably shorter than that. Greg Gage goes over, keep Dragon strong, and decrease the time to, like, six minutes. Dragon is still unhappy. What if I protected you, Dragon? Oh, what if I protected you, Dragon? Alright, cool. 
few cooldowns there. And then we can do J-Ro taking on... Uh, J-Ro taking on... Uh, Purple Viper. Oh, no, don't do that. Queen Amazon, I'll say. Because she has to go over. <laughs> J-Ro can win a match. We've already done a high spots match. Apparently Amazon is really unhappy about that, which is fair, because J-Ro's awful, but she's... She's like she's off. <laughs> Jero's not very over right now, but she's forcing me to put her over, people. Sorry, I can't help it. I'm literally being forced. She's forcing me. I have no choice in the matter. <laughs> uh, clearly. Uh, so we have Gino and Criticos to left the book, and apparently we don't have a storytelling match. So, hmm, how are we gonna uh, do this one? How about a trios match with Team Gino versus Team Critico since they're Long-time rivals, even though they're not really in a feud right now. So we've got gold and silver, and uh, yep, that's fine. And then we have Los Monteros and uh, North Star. Sure, I don't really mind who goes over. Just go out there and put on a good show. Twenty minutes. And we'll do a storytelling, we'll just do the story of Gino versus um, Critico continues. Oh, the story continues! Alright, and uh, I, I think that's probably enough matches. Who's not booked in a match? Nobody important. Not really hugely important anyway. Alright, so, after the match, Pesadilla and her boys. Uh, Pesadilla comes out, and she doesn't actually say anything. Uh, I'm going to kind of co-op that. She's not actually going to say anything. She just looks at her boys, taps them on the shoulder, and says, it's time. Not says, but, like, implies it's time. So, uh, Cosmic Rider says, uh, Manuel Prieto is safe. He's at a safe house. Um, he's at a safe house in Mexico City. Uh, here is the address. And Pesadilla opens a piece of paper and leaves it in the middle of the ring. Mr. Lucha 3 picks it up, very battered and bruised from his match, and walks to the back. And, uh, we'll obviously have, yeah, Mr. Lucha there. Right on over nice. There you go. So, he's won. He's won the location of Manuel. What? But what is it? What is the location of Manuel? And what is he going to do with that information? Uh, we're going to increase the length of this match, just because I want some more angles, and I feel like... Um, I need more time in terms of match time to make up for the amount of angle time I'm going to be going with. So, there we go. Perfect. And then I want to have, after the match, the usual stable roundup with Hijo del Mephisto with uh, La Hija, Hellspawn, Amo Delgato, and Slayer, along with a, the new Pesadilla, and her boys, Cosmic Rider, and um, La Sombra, and Hijo, uh, Hijo del Mephisto said, we, we as, an, as a group, talked to these assassins, and wanted Mr. Lucha 3 out of the picture. But, it seems they have failed to do things subtly, and we're gonna have to do things a little more overtly. Mr. Lucha 3... Your time is num your days are numbered. We're gonna come after you. We are stronger than ever before. We are eight people strong, the biggest stable in the history of Mexico, and we will get what we want. Oh, I've selected the one twice. Oh, lost Sombra. There you go. Too sweet, too sweet, me bro. Then we will do elaborate entrances for both men in the main. First, we'll go for Nick. Four minutes. Then we'll go with. Uh, oop, wait a minute. Then we'll go with. Good old Hiho because he's. The guy. Well, he's the champ. The champ is here. There you go. That's where you do it appropriately, Tony. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Enough, enough of that. We'll have a Joanne promo generic, uh, where she can go off script and talk for four minutes to her heart's desire. And we will do the save. Actually, that's probably enough. That's probably appropriate. Um, we might do it. Let's do an intro video to the whole uh, event. So, La Sombra, Cosmic Rider, 
Mr. Lucha. Uh, God, I'm not forgetting the main eventers. Nicholas Lopez and uh, Hee Ho Del Mephisto. Right on over us. And uh, I think Ben pointed this out on Next Stream the other day. But since they're only showing the good parts, then they should totally have success, right? Let's cut at least one minute. That's fine. We'll cut it from the main. So it's just basically an opening package saying, Tonight, these men go beyond the mask. And now, only presents Masaya de la Mascara. Boom. Two, 7,200 people. Good stuff. Strong start. Strong opener. Strong uh, package. Good to see. And then the handicap match gets a 76 B, B minus. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, in a superb match, Mr. Lucha 3 defeated the Shadow Riders in a handicap match when Mr. Lucha defeated the Cosmic Rider with a third strike. And then the post show segment where um, the piece of paper is slipped to Mr. Lucha 3 and he walks off extremely hurt. Um, Pestia wins the Campeonatos de la Mujeres Oli title. Wins it off of uh, Azul Celeste. Two straight falls. She is the women's champion. Marcos Flores beats, uh, is beaten by Teodor Alpha. Not a bad match at all. Um, makes defense number four of his Campeonato del Mexico title. 76 B minus. Uh, team Team Critico defeats Team. Uh, wait, no. Yeah, Team Critico defeats Team Gino. Good to see. Then in the 55 C minus, Greg Gage. That's probably Greg's best match, I think. Um, defeats Dragon Americano with a proton lock. Then. Joan cuts a promo early. This is meant to go after her match, but that's fine. Her match gets a 46D worst match on the card. That's okay, though. And then the trios match gets a 62C. Amadou Elgato carries the match, but Tres Phoenix win. As, uh, the, the name Tres Phoenix win their eighth title. This particular combination of Tres Phoenix wins their first title. And uh, Amadou Elgato had an amazing night tonight. Phoenix Salt uh, wins the trios titles. Phoenix 4... Phoenix 2 and Phoenix 3 win the Campeonatos de Trios only titles. Entrance for Nicholas gets an 80. Entrance for Hiho gets a 90. And the match itself gets a 82B. One of the better matches we've had. All, like, it's, it's so close to having that 83. But it's a good match. It's a good match. In an exceptional match, Hiho Del Mephisto defeats Nicholas Lopez in 34 minutes at 2 falls to 1 after winning the first. With the final fall happening by pinfall with a satanic elbow following interference from Pesadilla. Now, Hijo Del Mephisto makes defense number three of his Campeonatos de Universal title. <laughs> Announcing job by the guy was pretty weak. Got the crowd hotter. Yeah, it was good. It was really good. And then after the match, 100A star, Hijo Del Mephisto says, We hired Pesadilla and her assassins to take out Mr. Lucha 3, but we're done being subtle. They're joining us now, and we're completely open. We are a unit. We are united, and we will get what we want. We may have lost the trio's titles tonight, but we have won the Mujeres title. It is a it is a straight trade, and we've also gained the Perez champions, the Perez champions. We are one of the strongest units in all of Mexico. No one will stop us. Seventy six B B minus. A couple of people were used far too much on the show, um, but yep, increased in a lot of regions. Hijo deserves a lot of. Uh, credit for that. He did really well. Uh, Nicholas uh, pointed out as an example. And of course, Amo Delgato uh, told that he's awesome because he's been doing some really good work recently. I, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously, uh, it was hurt a little bit, I think, by the, the over usage of people. But uh, an 82 main event, the 100 angle, it was a good show. I'm, I'm really happy with it. What decisions have we got? Oh, Cosmic Rider is re signing. Because I like him. Uh, new goals. Oh, new goals. Okay. Slayer is injured again. Oh, no. I think it was Hellspawn who was injured the first time. Damn it, Phoenix 4. You keep botching. Nicholas Lopez needs some time to heal. And the... Ah! It's the best ever... The most amount of people watching live on TV for the, sh for the TV special. Which is how it should be. Um, yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. We are up to 61 in West Central Mexico and 38 in the other two regions. We are very, very close to pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen. It will not be long at all uh, until we're live on pay-per-view, which will be brilliant. Let's take a look at the tippy top of the card. I'm talking uh, major positive guys. So Amo Delgato is, I think that's probably a fall. 
Oh, well, maybe not, actually. That's it. No, it's an increase. Cool. I want to look after doing some good shit. Gino Montero is pretty good. Doing alright. Hio Del Mephisto is my god. My god. This man is getting there. <laughs> He's like, yep, yep. One of the most over characters in all of Mexico right now. Hashtag deal with it. He's essentially, like, like, I was talking to Ben in the comments. Some, he's now got a legendary gimmick, by the way. Uh, I was talking to Ben in the comments of one of the videos back a while ago now about, like, losing people. I was like, oh, it's fine. Losing people's part of it. I'm happy not to go cult and science from written deals. But, like, because most people are replaceable in storylines. So we can just do certain things with them. But, um, Heho is essential to the entire, like, promotion storyline right now. La Sombra's doing well. Nicholas is doing okay. Hasn't really lost anything. Pesadilla is up. That's good to see. Silver Tiger is doing fine, and then Tirador Alpha is up, which is great. He's now a mid carter finally. Um, oh, how is Marcos doing? <laughs> how is Marcos doing? Uh, he's not even. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he's doing fine. He's dropped, but not ridiculously. It's good to see. Azul is also dropped, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think she was on like the fifties back in the day. Yeah, she well, she wasn't that quite that good, but yeah, she's cool. Alright, so a couple titles changed hands, we should check. So the Universal title is still at 100 prestige. It has one of Mexico's most hated Rudos right now holding it. Uh, 71 for... Uh, oh, I thought it was... I thought mid-card titles were capped at 70 back in the day. Maybe I'm wrong. 71 for Tirador Alpha's uh, Campeonato del Mexico title. 69 for the Campeonato de las Mujeres title. Uh, now held by Pesadilla. New trios champs up to 80 prestige. Um... Phoenix one two uh, sorry Phoenix two three and four Tres Phoenix again it is the oh it's the seventh title for Tres Phoenix the first for this particular group of Tres Phoenix um, as you can see Phoenix two has won it uh, has now won it uh, seven times <laughs> six with Phoenix one and three and then one time with three and four uh, yeah it's pretty good pretty happy with that so it's Phoenix four's first title in the industry. And, uh, I mean, it was always going to be, right? There wasn't going to be any other first title for him. And he's gone up in pop, which is good to see. How's his skills looking these days? He's starting to really do, like, he's starting to become something. Like, he's not doing too bad. I think that star quality might be up, too. Or, actually, is it down? No, it is up. Okay, cool. Phoenix 4 is not by any means bad. He, um, he might get somewhere one day. I mean, he is Phoenix 4, and I like his mask, so... Probably gonna get somewhere one day, and then obviously, this the, t the pairs title is the pairs title. Weird that the trios title is treated as more as a floating title, and the pairs is just nope mid card. Huh. Any inactive titles in Oli? I think I've probably checked this before. Oh yeah, there's the uh, the world title. I assume got turned into universal title for some reason. All right, so what is our schedule looking like? So we are now building towards. Oh, we're building towards Salon de la Fama and Banado de Gloria. So, the big kind of season finale events. Alright, cool. We have a lot we can do for that then. We are currently in what, May? Oh, we're in June. Fuck. Okay. We haven't got long to build to those events. So, the next couple of episodes might be heated. Let's just say that much. Um, yeah, alright. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with the way things are going. I'm, I'm really enjoying the series so far. Um, hope you guys continue to comment, like, subscribe, and uh, do everything you've been doing because it has been super, super fun. I have recorded, uh, uh, I've recorded 18 episodes today on release day. It's ridiculous, but uh, hopefully I'll record some more. Some no, 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 not some more, some more. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna get some food now. I'm gonna go get a sandwich because uh, it, uh, it's early. Wrestling Don Taku is on tonight. If you're wondering when I'm recording this, so. Yeah, anyway, my random ramblings are not interesting to you guys. Soon we're going to be on pay-per-view. That's going to be awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Check out the rest of the series. Subscribe if you already. And I will see you guys next time for another episode of Polo Noche Fantamiento. Adios.